Attention. Music. My name's Jalingua Marky Lyrics from RDK Hi-Fi out of Brixton, London, UK. I'm a music producer. Uh, I've been involved in music and sound systems since the early 80s in South London, London. Um, I'm producing music from about 1998 um, my own record label, Universal Roots, uh, release mainly vinyl uh, and some digital formats. No, to me, Sound System is just a, um, a way of um, getting over a message, music. Um, get, uh, I mean, I'm into live events, yeah, I like live. Um, getting together with people, you know, I mean, that's what I grew up with. I mean, we grew up with, in the seven, 1970s and 80s, really, we used to go out and look for um, places to be with people. So music movements were very popular in, you know, that time, you know. So a sound system is a live um, experience. Love is a Yeah, it's amazing really, you know, all those years ago, it was almost 20 years ago, um, and the times in the UK at that time was very hard, uh, and it was more like as a social, almost a social revolution going on in the UK around that time. Uh, it's come some serious things going down. Um, so, as a sound, we were doing sound system, so we thought really it's good to take the message out to, you know, um, people in uh, our own communities, in um, you know, like out of London and into Europe. You know, I don't know. I mean, sound system is a mobile disco, right? So basically, you can go anywhere and do sound system. So, you know, it's good to just spread the, the message and, and travel with it. You know. Um, that's what I love about sound system. I mean, you can set up sound system anywhere, you know, in your own house, in the back garden, in the park, in the venue, in the beach, you know, sound system is versatile. You know, it's a, it's a, I like the arena of sound system because I mean, I grew up with rock and roll music and it was all like bands with a stage at the end of the hall and everyone looking one day, one way down at the band, you know, like, and it was all like set up like that. What I like about Sound System, it was very dynamic. It was like you could have lots of different areas, like you'd have a, you know different stacks of speakers, different sizes maybe, and then you know it was just dynamic. It's a different sort of an arena for music. That's what I I, I like about Sound System, you know, um, as opposed to that rock and roll setup, which is like just sort of standard. You know, it's sort of this is good for that sort of thing, but. No, really, that's what's got me about Sound System, the dynamic sort of setup of, of, of the, the, the experience, the live experience. You know, as I say, you know, when, when people come together and experience the same thing, it, it, it creates a very strong bond between people. You know, um, when you're all in the same room, experience the same thing, you go away from that night and you have something in common with people, you know? So that's why Sound Systems have become very strong um, very, you know, for people. I mean, this day, in the age of internet and stuff like that, you know, and people do a lot of, you know, uh, um, networking, it still hasn't got the same feeling as when you experience to put together with people in a live situation, you know? Because you carry that with you after that, you know? And, you, you know, it's, it's that all that relating to each other, you know? That's what I'm trying to say.
That's interesting because I was I was talking to my wife about that last night because she's also involved in making music and and stuff and uh, we, we're big uh, vinyl collectors. Um, I kind of th what I like about being like having their uh, the physical format is that when you get it and it's yours, you become it becomes. It's almost like you become part of the this this whole idea of the art. It, you know, you, you you it really belongs to you. You are part of the movement. You know, of these artists or singers or whatever. And you you know, and by having the physical thing like the record or the, the album or whatever, you see the artwork. It tells you certain things. You know, it's it, it's got a character. You know, and it's yours. Do you know what I mean? And you know what it's going to do. Every time you put it on, you know what it's going to do. It's going to play the same way every time, you know. So it's reliable. It's a good format. You know, that's why it's not dead yet. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was 20 years ago they started bringing in CDs, said vinyls died. Gonna, I mean, CDs died before vinyl, really. As a, I mean, actually the vinyl price has risen, you know. But um, no, I, I, I think it's a great, um, great format. I mean, I'm, I'm very lucky. To have grown up in a time when I could get music cheaply as well. I mean, it was cheap in those days. You know, you could get a lot. But um, yeah, I just think it's a good solid format. If you're into music, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, right, if you're going to go out and play a selection of music and, at night, you're not going to take your whole record collection with you because you're not going to be able to play it. So you take out what you need for the night. You select a set of music that you're going to play. And what I find with them, um, like, um, sort of uh, digital music is you've got too much you, you've almost got too much you don't know what to play you know it's sort of, you know what I mean it's sort of like so it's nice with DJ selection you know you've got a little pile of records to play and you go out and play them you know and um, it's it's nice it's a nice thing to do as well you know uh, but uh, I love records man I mean you know the, you know just, as I say the whole thing about when you buy an album or something and you know you've been looking for it for a long time and you find it and you get it and you suddenly you're part of that movement you know that band that that group that sound system you know you become like part of the movement you know and it's that's what I kind of mean when we grew up with that a lot in the 70s and 80s because you have a lot of music movements you know and they were powerful, you know, they were out there, man, you know, and it was an um, exciting time, you know, in that sense, because everyone had the, had the same experience, was sharing the same experience. That's what I mean about live, you, and, and it would make you very strong as a unit. That's why those movements were so strong then, because people were really sharing the same experience. But it's happening now on the internet with the radio, you know, you've got like um, the webcams, the chat room and stuff like that and people, that live experience, people want that live experience, you know, you've got, you know what I mean? So it is all about live experience when it comes to music and um, the physical, I mean the physical format can live alongside the digital, it doesn't have to be one or the other, you know, I don't know why people say, oh it's got to be this, oh, we can't. you know, you can, you know, it's different strokes for different folks, you know. Uh, how it actually happened, how it actually we ended up being in, getting to Italy. Well, it's a funny thing, yeah, because at that time we were on the road a lot. In the uh, late 80s, early 90s, we were travellers. We were travelling a lot around the country. And like, you know, I mean, it's difficult to explain, but everything was very different then. And, and um, basically you could travel around and do, do music and there would be places to do it. And, you know, it was, um, it was just different. And um, we were playing and I was playing, I remember it, I was playing in this pub in, in, in Cold Arbor Lane in Brixton, the Green Man. Uh, and I mean, it was, it was definitely going on in there. It was a, it was a wild old place, wild old. Place. And this Italian, this English, she was English, but she was half Italian. Came in and said she wanted to take us to um, Italy, her and her boyfriend, to take you know to bring sound system down here. And I agreed to it. And I remember we, I remember it was a long story, man. Trust me. But I remember we went, we we just went 
with about five or six of us in the van and, a, and we had a caravan on the back, I think, or something like that, and another van and travelled right across France and into North Italy and played in Pisa. The first time we played in it, it was in Pisa, in a social centre, Centri Sociali in Pisa. And then we drove down to Rome and stuff and met one love. And as I say, yeah, I mean, there's just like, you know, there seemed to be a lot of interest in making sound systems, you know. Yeah, so that's it for now. So bless up, live up the life, and uh, Jack Guide, one love. This is our fellas, and now we are the kids. Straight from out the jam tunes, Julo. Big up, tell you what, we're on it.